Friends, hello again. From the discussion, the technical discussion on uh, principal components, um, I observed that you can build a uh, coherent, that is positive definite uh, matrix using some uh, tricks. And of course, that matrix is for simulation purpose to generate Monte Carlo uh, runs. <laughs> When when n is small, visibly there's no problem, and but when n is large, uh, it's very hard to build such a uh, covariance or correlation matrix, and to calibrate it on top of that for a given dimensionality. So let's see what other tricks. Recall from the fool by randomness effect that when you look at the correlation between two variables and the sample size is small, say 10, correlation is going to be all over the map and very rarely zero. And here we're talking about two independent runs, therefore uncorrelated uh, when Gaussian. The sample size is small, look at the correlation. Now you increase the sample size, say to uh, 50, it's going to be a little better, okay? More compressed. If I do a histogram, histogram for 50, it's sort of better than when I do one for 10. That's for 10, three, let's make it uh, increase the sample size. Okay, look at all over the map. And we look at absolute value and the mean of that means mean absolute correlation is going to be 26. <laughs> so an expectation we're going to get a high number with 10. When you move to 100, it's going to be much smaller. And of course, if you go to infinity, it's going to be zero. So that small sample effect can work for us. Let's try it down. What is the problem of building a covariance? <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, covariance matrix for 10 variables, dimensionality of 10. And of course, I want some, uh, you know, net dimensionality means, uh, you know, the true dimensionality as, as expressed in the eigenvalues. So the trick is I generate a small sample of a high variance. <laughs> And fat tail distribution, 10. I'm, I'm using a Cauchy distribution, which is effectively a student T distribution of uh, degrees of freedom one. And I can get uh, a, co a covariance matrix. I ask if it's positive definite. It's true, it is positive definite. And um, But let's see the dimensionality of it. No, not good. The first PCA has 55%. I would like more. I mean, I would like more correlation uh, structure built in there. I mean, you can reduce it more effectively to the first PCA. We try again. Look at this. Wonderful. So here's a covariance matrix. And here's a correlation matrix. It is, you know, of low dimensionality but I have 10 variables. Of course, if I want something uh, almost uncorrelated, but 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 not quite, I can I can do, uh, I'd, I'll just take a, a student distribution with six degrees of freedom. And look at the PCA, how they line up. Thank you very much. Have an excellent day and to the next time.